Friday night mail. Oh, we have a new thumbnail. I just recently did it. I was like, dude, we need to update the thumbnail. I always get a hankering, I guess, to randomly upgrade everything. I just want everything to be in tip top shape. I want it to be ever changing and ever getting better, but you guys don't give a shit about fucking thumbnails. Let's talk about other things. So who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? Welcome to a new episode of Friday Night Mail. Oh, yes. This is the day of the week that I give back to you guys as much as I possibly can through giveaways, answering your questions, opening and unboxing your mail, and just letting you know once again how absolutely and entirely I appreciate you guys. You guys are fucking amazing. I would not be anywhere without you. Fans and viewers are the reason that YouTubers exist, and I am wholeheartedly aware of that and appreciative of everyone who watches my videos and supports me in any way. And that's you guys, even the haters. All right, this week's giveaway winner was Zadie. Congratulations, Zadie. Zadie wanted a copy of, what was that? Yep, oh, yep, GTA 5 on Steam. I sent it over to him. He already redeemed it, and I hope he's having a good time playing. If you guys want to sign up for this week's giveaway, the link will be in the description. All you have to do is click and follow a bunch of things on social networks and blah, blah, blah. You stand to win your choice of an autographed 8x10 from me, a piece of merch from my online store, which will also be linked in the description, or a Steam game of your choice. Every week I do one of these giveaways, so if you don't win this week or you didn't win last week, just try again. Patrons, Twitch subscribers, all that stuff, you guys get more points. And the more actions you complete, the more entries you get. Before we go ahead and answer some questions, I want to remind you guys that I do have an Instagram and I'm actually starting to use the fucking story feature on here. So we're gonna- we're gonna do a story post right now on fucking Friday Night Mail. Hey guys, recording Friday Night Mail now! You guys will be watching this in the Friday Night Mail video. Oh my god, so cool! I can't wait to open you guys' gifts! La 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 la. Yeah, so, you probably saw that on my Instagram if you're already following, but it's at Tara Babcock, also at Tara Babcock on Twitter, but the most important one other than this one is my other YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Tara Babcock Games, and of course my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Tara Babcock. Tonight, actually, I'm gonna be doing a drunk stream, I'm 99% sure, with my friend Red, so if you wanna check out the drunk stream of the month, do so. Link is in the description, or you can just type it into the browser there, oh yes. Alright, let's go ahead and answer some of your questions. The questions I picked this week are pretty good. This week we have an absolutely burning question from Raven Winter, who is a fucking badass. Love you, baby girl. She says, question, someone asked me if you can breathe out of your nose while giving a blowjob, and I was like, I don't know, I've never tried. So my question is, can you? I hope I don't get made fun of for this, lol. I know you won't call me stupid. Also, I hope you check your Instagram messages. I sent you some spicy pictures because you make me feel pretty. As always, I love you, you're a badass. It's funny because it was a long time ago when I read this and decided that it needed to to be one of the questions of the week and I called her a badass before I remembered that she called me a badass. So I guess the feeling of badassery is kind of mutual. I am sorry that I haven't done that, Raven. Actually, I have to go through like 100,000 dick pics to see anything in my DM box. So I'm gonna try find yours, but if I can't, I'll just follow you and then it'll probably pop up in my actual inbox. Oh, <sighs> the plight of Instagram DMs. Anyway, breathing while giving head. Okay, so I can breathe through my nose while I'm giving head as long as I'm not deep throating too much. It's actually interesting. When you deep throat all the way back into your throat, like way past where your gag reflex starts activating, that wonderful thing that I can suppress because I love sucking dicks so much, it actually gets kind of hard to breathe. I think because your nasal canal and your mouth and throat are kind of connected. That's why sometimes when you start laughing when you're drinking milk or something and it comes out of your nose, it's because the whole area is connected. So yeah, I find it very hard to breathe if I'm deep throating. But when I'm not deep throating, I can just go to town forever and it's easy to breathe. Jay likes to do this thing where he holds my head down on his cock and then I'm like, <gasps> and I can't breathe for a long time and then I pull up finally to get a little bit of air and I'm like, <gasps> Oh, I almost died just giving head, which wouldn't be the worst way to go, honestly. Thank you, Raven, for the wonderful question. We have one more question. Let me just find it. I have to unlock my phone every five seconds when my phone's about to die. Why am I in the app store? What the fuck? Ladybunny777 asks, would you ever date a trans male to female? That's what MTF means. abso fucking lootly In fact, I prefer when a male to female transgender is passing for female, but then they keep their genitalia intact. Like, that is so hot. Oh my god. But I would also have sex with people like Gigi Gorgeous, who totally doesn't have a penis anymore, from what I understand. She's just, like, really perfect. Awesome question. 
However, I would not go for a female to male. I just feel like I need a real penis if there's gonna be a penis in the equation. And I'm usually not attracted to the way female to male transgenders look. But I mean, if somehow down the line I do find one that is attractive enough, of course. The fact that they're transgender would never stop me. And of course, I wanna clarify, by date, we're talking about have sex with. Cause I don't date. Not in the regular capacity, at least. All right guys, it's time to open your packages. Packages, package number one. I love doing that because it makes me look so cool. I don't cut it out. Usually I can cut closer, but I love it when it's just like, oh, and then a package lands in my hands and I'm like, oh, I'm so fucking dexterous. Oh, did I just spit a little bit when I said dexterous? I feel like you're not truly saying the word dexterous correctly unless you're spitting a little bit. Oh, yes. What is this? Hello. Hi, Tara. I also got you a couple pairs of leggings, but I can't put notes on them. Another glorious tea gimmick. Enjoy your gift. From Adam, aka Derpy. Ooh, tea stuff. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, it's the gigantic, like, kiss-looking tea tongue. Oh, okay, you stick it on the edge of your cup, and then the tongue has the fucking tea in it. And oh my, this is my favorite one. I honestly, like, I have some really cute ones. I have, like, a duck and a bunch of other- but This is just like, come on, like, what? What? This is so cool. Thank you, Adam. Ah! Also, a couple pairs of leggings, that- that, that, oh my god, that sounds amazing. I'm like a leggings freak right now, so what is this? Oh, yes. Thank you, Adam, by the way. I, ca I cannot stress enough. Ow. My shoulder almost dislocated. I cannot stress enough how awesome you are. Ugh. All right, all right. Oh my god, is this from Mugwomp? Oh my goodness, all that Star Wars goodness. Oh yes. Okay, we gotta try it on. But I think I'm gonna put it on over this because I feel like that's kind of a style, right? And I'm, I'm just lazy. I've been putting on different outfits all day, so I'm a little bit tired of changing, which is kind of like a dumb thing for me to be right before I record an FNM because I know that there's a possibility of urgh, urgh. Urf, over the titties. I know there's a possibility of me getting things to try on. This is actually like a cool look. I am sure that this is from Mugwomp, who is extremely wonderful to me, and this is actually like a cute look. You guys like it? It looks cool. I actually don't mind the loss of the cleavage and the fact that I can't breathe very well because the shirt's too tight on my tits. <sighs> The next question for next week's FNM should be, can you breathe when you're not wearing a cleavage shirt? The answer would be not easily. <laughs> Thank you, Mugwump. I love you so much. This is really fucking cool. I want to like split it down fucking Darth Vader's head, stop at Kylo Ren and have my tits out. And then this would be like one of my favorite shirts of all time ever. And every time you're like insecure about the size that you bought me, it always ends up being like the perfect size. So woo, this is fucking cool. Mwah, thank you, Mugwomp. You are one of the lights of my life, but I gotta be able to breathe to finish this video. Oh, oh we can go like this. There we go. I, I, I like the collar. So let's just, let, we can leave it like, there we go. Can we get, like, Darth Vader in there? Darth Vader! Oh! It's like a picture that, that didn't finish loading and then there's tits underneath it. I don't know. Whatever. We've got one more of these! And then a, a couple packages. This is from Top Deck Hobbies. Oh shit. Is this magic stuff? Oh my god, it is. What is this? Hi Tara, I hope these cards are useful to you. From Adam. Aw, Adam, you're so sweet. What did you buy me? Ooh, did you buy me a bunch of foils? That's fucking cool, like some Ravnica foils. Ooh, foils! I, I love me some foils. Lands! I like to put art on lands. Nice! There's some newer stuff in here too, so I could do like a popper cube. When I first started playing Magic, I used to draft this card. This is very cute. Thank you, Adam. I appreciate it. You're just making me miss Magic more. I feel like you bought this after you saw that I was like, oh my god, I miss Magic so much in one of my Instagram posts, and now I'm like, I'm in withdrawals, you guys. Oh, I so want to get back into it, but like Jay doesn't really want to, but magic is my only like true competitive outlet. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't play StarCraft anymore. I don't play League anymore. And I, out of all of those games, my favorite for me personally, for how I work, not having the like dexterity and the quickness of someone who plays StarCraft uh, competitively and professionally, I could definitely, if I spent enough time, play magic competitively. I even have like one trophy and I was like really I didn't try that hard, so come on, come on, I could totally do it. Thank you for reigniting that fire in me, Adam. I really appreciate it. I, I am a foils addict. I will trade for bad value just to get a foil, like seriously. 
Oh, it, it's a... <laughs> Hi, Tara. Enjoy your gift and hope it pleasures you and hope you enjoy your bondage lips too when they arrive. From Jack. Okay, so this is a double-ended dildo, right? But it's a double-ended dildo that's for one person because the smaller end is supposed to go in the anus while at the same time, at the same time, this is supposed to go into the vagina. Thank you, Jack. I don't have one of these that's for like solo play. I have like that gig gigantic pink one. But yeah, can we like stick it on my boob? There we go. We've got a dildo on my boob. I'll definitely make sure to try this out. I do like dildos that come with anal stimulation as well. Oh no, dildo, don't fall. Got the dildo on the neck, oh yes. From Bella Media, what? Aw, it's from Bracey, no way. She sent me one of her movies. That is so sweet and it's autographed too. Holy shit, dude. Oh. Dude, I just started following her. Like, I knew about her, but I never knew, like, how awesome of a chick she was. Hi, Tara. I'm a big fan of your channel on YouTube and wanted to send you something fun for you and the mister to enjoy. This goes very well with this. Thank you, Bryce. This is so amazing. You are a fucking queen, dude. Like, oh my god. I found you online a few years ago. Your plastic Barbie photo was posted, and I was so excited to not only find you have a YouTube vlog channel, but that you're into sex positivity. Yes! Now I, now I can pretend to lick your titties. Pretend. <laughs> we should we should do real life the licking of the titties. Yes, yes. Yes, we should. <laughs> Thank you for doing what you do and telling the world sex shouldn't be hush hush. Keep on rocking. Smiley face XX Brycey. Twitter.com slash Brycey. Instagram.com slash Brycey. And Brycey.tv, which is her YouTube. I'm gonna post those links in the description. I feel like she needs no introduction. Like fucking everyone knows who she is. She is fucking awesome and yeah. Yeah, I love you, girl. Like, you're my girl crush right now. My box cutter is erect for you. That's like one of the best gifts I've ever gotten. So personal, so awesome, with such a badass note. It just has everything. And also porn. What is this? Something Dragon Ball Z related. Something Dragon Ball Z related. Oh my god, what the fuck? What? Oh, I can be Namekian! <laughs> oh, dude. This is the best one. The best fucking, uh, what are these called? What are they called? Beanie, the best beanie ever. I, I look like Piccolo or like Dende or something. Who sent me this? I need to know. Tell me, baby girl, cause I need to know. Hi, Tara, thought you might like this. Enjoy your gift from Jared H. Okay, so he just asked me on Instagram if I've unboxed my, and oh my God, no one's gonna get it. You know what the most amazing nerd gear is? The nerd gear that's so subtle that only people who like really like a franchise or a universe actually notices that it is that. Like I went out with my um my shredder glasses, the glasses that have like the, the shredder from TMNT outline on it. And a lot of people are like, I like your robot glasses. And then some people are like, oh my God, your shredder glasses. And it's like such a cool feeling to find other people. And that's one of the reasons why I really like doing gaming on YouTube and doing like you know streaming and all that stuff because it's a lot of like-minded people because it's so hard to find like actual gamers these days you know what I'm saying and my fucking light isn't even it wasn't even fucking hitting me like what the fuck I'm just so hyped this is one of the it's like a simple FNM with like not a ton of packages but they're like all really meaningful really awesome really personal packages so I'm hyped maybe maybe it's just the Bryce porn I don't know but I'm pretty fucking hyped Hi Tara, I remember you saying you miss magic and I saw this on your wish list, so I got it for you. I also got you some other foil cards, but I don't know magic, so I don't know if they're gonna be any good to you. Hi Tara, what use are infusers without a decent mug to put them in? Enjoy your gift from Adam. Ooh. Okay, so I now have a full four set of these. I wanted these because they come with a Dromoka and um, I think a Siege Rhino or so. I don't know which one this is. But yeah, and now I have four and now I don't even play magic anymore. So this is like solidifying the fact that I just need to get back into it. I need to do what I want to do. And I'm just sad that most of those cards have rotated out. But you know, I can still play them in other formats. And also, also, this is so cool. Oh my God, build a level mug. So it's a mug that comes with a bunch of stickers. They're waterproof and reusable. 
and you put them on to create a Mario level. I wanted this so bad. I don't know. I feel like I should stream making this or something. I don't know. Should I? Let, let's open it and just see what's inside of it. So awesome. Okay, so it's like an empty Mario level. It has a shit ton of stickers. Oh my god. So fucking cool. I am so excited. Let's see what other stickers they have. All right, so we got some blocks. We got some pipes and some Goombas. Some Koopas. We've got Koopa shells. We've got a fire flower. We got some like, um, what are they called? The, the mountains and some trees. And then we've got a bunch of Marios and a bunch of Luigis. We've got a Toad. We've got a Princess Peach even. Like this, this is so cool. And they're reusable too. So like I can take it off and wash it or let someone else make a level. This is so fucking cool. Thank you so much, Derpy Derpy. You have been like the highlight of this. Like really, you sent me so many things and you're fucking just pandering to my need to get back into magic. You're sending me tea stuff. I fucking love tea. I, just, I don't know. You've just been, thank you so fucking much. I don't know. You were talking about coming to quit TwitchCon. And like, even though I feel disdain for everyone that works at Twitch and Twitch as a company, I love the platform and I would love to meet the people who do watch me. So that includes you. I don't know, maybe I'll make a plan to come down and see you while I'm there. You and Demi, that would be fucking amazing. I love you both so much and I really appreciate everything you guys do for me. Mwah! Thank you, Brycey. Thank you, Jared. Thank you fucking everyone who sent me anything. I really fucking appreciate it. You guys have just been so awesome to me. Over this past couple years, it's it's just beyond amazing. You guys are all fucking awesome. T, Mario, Piccolo, this is like above and beyond. This gift is above and beyond what I have on my wish list. You found something that I didn't have on there that I would absolutely adore. You knew I would adore it and you sent it to me and that's just, you guys have been so amazing to me these last couple years and just everything you do. Please just never stop being you guys because I am wholeheartedly appreciative of you guys' existence on this planet. Thank you so fucking much, and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out my social media, check out Bryce's shit, because Bryce is hot as fuck if you haven't been following her. You're half retarded, become fully unretarded by following her, yeah. And the two videos over here on the right that are suggested just for you, I would appreciate it if you check out more of my videos. Thank you so much, and I will see you next week with another Friday Night Mail. Don't forget to sign up for the giveaway and ask as many questions as you want. I love reading your comments. I read almost all of them. Bye, guys. Ow. I was like really stuck on there. Do I have lines on my neck now? May the force be with you, Mugwump. Mwah.